Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. In today's video, we're going to be doing something in Lightroom Classic that I like to call adding atmosphere. All too often we have an image that's okay, but it's missing that something extra that would make it a relatively interesting image. And that's where adding atmosphere comes in. For this example, I have this photo of my son and his wife, and they wanted a shot of them walking down this path. And to tell you the truth, I wasn't really enamored with the situation. I didn't think the path was that interesting. There was a lot of dappled light to deal with. So I had to place them in a point along the path where the dappled light wasn't adversely affecting them. And I took the shot. And as you can see, I mean, it's okay, but there's nothing special about it. What I want to do is add a little bit of atmosphere to the shot to make it a little bit more interesting. Now, what I've done so far is I've taken the raw file and I cropped it into four by five. And I did some basic adjustment. As a matter of fact, I really only moved four sliders, highlight shadows, whites, blacks, and vibrance. That's all I've done to the image. And now I want to add atmosphere and I'm going to use masking for that. So I'm going to open up masking. And first I want to do something with this foreground area. It's just dead area. It doesn't really add anything to the image. So I'm going to add a linear gradient to that. So I'm going to get that and I'm going to draw it up because I want it more uh, more of the effect at the bottom of the photo and let the effect lessen as it gets up towards my son and his wife. And I'm going to hold the shift key in while I draw it so it'll be perfectly horizontal. And I'll let it encroach on them a little bit, maybe like that. And what I'm going to do is, I'm, for now at least, I'm going to take exposure down. Now I'm going to come back in and probably revisit this after I do the next mask I'm going to add. So I'm going to cr create a mask. And I'm going to select the subject and Lightroom did a great job of selecting them. But I don't want them selected. I really want everything else but them selected. So I'm going to invert this by clicking on this checkbox right here. Now you can see I have everything else selected except them. But I really don't want this effect that I'm going to be doing to be added homogeneously throughout the entire image outside of them. I want it to be gradual and to come out from them. So I'm going to intersect this mask with a radial mask. So I'm going to go up here where it says mask two and click on these three dots. And I'm going to go down to intersect, intersect mask with a radial gradient right there. So I'm going to go right towards them, like in the middle of them. And I'm just going to draw it out kind of like this. Now you could see that this gradient intersects with the other subject, inverted subject mask I just drew so that it will only affect areas where they overlap, which excludes them. And you could see excludes areas where this radial gradient isn't drawn. I'm going to pull this up a little bit, but I don't want it to encroach too much on the other mask I drew at the bottom. So as you can see, if I grab this handle, it's going to equally move the opposite side as well. Well, if you don't want it to do that, hold in the alter option key while you draw this out and you'll be able to draw it up like that. And I think I'll do these equally like that. All right, so we have this mask. Now it's an intersecting mask, so it only affects the areas where it overlaps with the inverted subject mask I just drew previously. Now what I want to do here is I want to make it brighter. And this is where the atmosphere comes in. The next three sliders, clarity, pull down, dehaze, pull down, and texture a little bit, but the third slider actually is sharpness. Pull that down as well. Now you can see we added what I like to call again, atmosphere to the shot. Now, if you want, you could try to like give this a, a hint of color. You could do that with the U slider here, but I found that this often doesn't, unless you want some type of dreamy, ethereal, kind of fake effect, you could do that. Uh, but what I prefer to use is the color swatch right here. So I'll click on this and you can click a preset, kind of warm it up a little bit like that. I think that works um, better than the hue slider in most instances. Now. It seems to be nice. I like it. Um, now let's revisit this one that's down here. 
this uh, linear gradient. That's the first mask I drew. And I had all I did to that is I brought exposure down. Well, with that, I could add uh, maybe take clarity down to blur that out a little bit. Now, if I go to dehaze and pull that down, it's going to make it brighter. And I really don't want to do that. So I just want to bring it down, but maybe I'll give it, give it that same hint of color I did. Maybe it was right there, like for the other one, like that. And I could come in and reposition it. If I want it to go up a little more, I could do that. So I could always come in and reposition these masks. Just click on the pin for each of the masks to make it active. And then you could come in and reposition it. Now that's the subject, the inverted subject mask. Here's the radio mask here. And I could come in. Now if you need to, let's say, if you want to pull the side up further, but you're, you know, you ran out of real estate, you don't want to move this one because you like where that bottom one is, what you could do is go over to the left panel and go directly at the top of the navigator and let's say put it to 25%. Then I could go to this top handle, hold in the option key and pull that up like that. And then when I'm ready, I could go back to the left panel and fit it to the screen like that. So that is adding atmosphere. And let's do a before after. There's before and there's after. Admittedly, admittedly, this probably isn't for everyone and it's probably not for every image you ever do, but try it out on some images that just are okay, but they're really not, um, special and maybe you could make something special out of them by using these atmospheric effects in Lightroom. Thank you everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.